Dustin and I, uh, we have different mothers, and we're 16 years apart. And uh, he got on the road really early in his, uh, you know, youth. Um, we had different experiences with my dad, by for sure. But he, um, I, when he was like early WCW, right after he had done the thing in the WWF with my dad, I thought he was the coolest guy ever. We at the Omni, he'd come out the natural Dustin Rhodes, and all that he'd get what uh, I guess people call it a chick pop. When, like, all the women scream, chick pop. <laughs> is that a chick pop? Yeah, chick pop. I don't know. But I like, love that, like, the man who is against Yeah, the that's, industry, like, the best like, way to You're just giving more yeah, terms yeah. to all of us. Chick pop. <laughs> <laughs> you get the chick pop. And, like, I thought, man, he's the coolest guy ever. Like, and he was really talented. Like, super good in the ring. And Dustin and I are both somewhat self-trained because everyone assumes, oh, they're good. They know yeah. how to do it. We don't know how to do anything. Like, I don't even know how to put it like a headlock on. I like, <laughs> don't know how to do anything. And you learn as you go. And he learned as he go, uh, went in such a great fashion. I thought he was the coolest guy ever. So it's pretty well documented after that. Him and my dad had this big falling out, which rightfully so. They needed to settle their issues because my dad was on the road for Dustin's life. Whereas with me, my dad was with me for everything. So Dustin had very obvious grievances and they, um, they had their falling out. So I missed it all. I missed gold dust. Um, it was seven true years of them not speaking to each other at all. Wow. And that's like the informative years of your life, like my adolescence, being a teenager. And he came back around uh, my senior, junior, senior year in high school. And uh, that's when everything got reformed. And it was really wonderful and beautiful. And so glad that he got to reconnect with my dad because they became like great friends. But the problem in that area was... I didn't get to know him As well. You're growing up. Yeah. yeah, I didn't get to know him. I feel like I didn't really get to know my brother until we actually tagged together. Mm -hmm. And people think, oh, what was it like growing up together? Well, we didn't grow up together. What was it like at the dinner table, buddy? Well, we never, Two separate dinner never ate dinner together. Huh? <laughs> but then we tagged together, and that was a really unique experience in terms of as when we were Cody and Goldust, and then when we were, you know, Gold and Stardust, however they, whatever they decided to call us. Um, but yeah, that was when we got to know each other the most, and I'm very thankful to WWE um, for giving us a chance to get to know each other. But by yeah. then, there was no there was no resentment about you being the one who got attention from your dad. That was our squashed. I don't know. I uh, I think I think it was squashed. My dad and I were were best friends, and I think him and Dustin were best friends too. I don't think there was ever on my end like a competitive element of like who's who's better. Right. You know, you want to like be like, oh, I want to like you want to be a better wrestler, but in like a positive way. But as far as like our relationship with um, dad, Dustin had a different side. They'd go hunting and I'm a terrible hunter. Right. They brought me once and a deer was from me to you. And I missed. <laughs> I missed. And then I dropped the gun, which is like the worst thing you can. And like you're going to blow someone's head off, like drop. <laughs> and then like I s just sadly climbed down from the tree stand and Aww. saw them talking up in it. And I was like, yeah. They're not inviting me back. I'm, and not, got, and you, I'm, not, I'm not coming back. You got one kid who's like a, a redneck, like, hunter yeah. guy. Country you got boys. The other who's like a video game comic book nerd. Yeah, very much. We were just opposite ends of the spectrum. Um, so, you know, they, they, had, they had their things together, and me and, uh, me and Dad had our things uh, together. And me and Dad, I'm lucky. And, you know, like, I'll, admittedly, like, I'm very lucky in that my dad was – on the road like i mean not on the road anymore he was retired and he got to be with me every day and he missed one wrestling match in terms of amateur wrestling i ever had so the night he turned to the nwo oh he's bro no. he's broken hearted <laughs> yeah he's broken hearted I, want, you, I wanted to go save larry zabisco <laughs> um yeah that was a uh, yeah so we have very different childhoods and uh what did your yeah. family think 